What's up, everybody? Hope your day's going well. Aesop Rock, no regrets. That is what we're checking out today. And uh, people told me that this is a great storytelling track. Hey, you know I love a good story. So come on, let's jump in here. Yo, ask her. Hey, Lucy, come here. Guys. Had a blue barrette, city born into this world with no knowledge and no regrets. Had a piece of yellow chalk with which she drew up on the street. The many faces of the various locals that she would meet. Well, there was Joshua, age 10. Bully up the block, who always took her milk money at the morning bus stop. Ah. There was Mrs. Crabtree and her pool. She always gave a wave and holler on her weekly trip down to the bingo parlor. And she drew. Men, women, kids, sunsets, clouds. And she drew. Skyscrapers, food stands, city towns. Always said hello to passers by. They asked her why she passed the time attaching lines of concrete, but she would only smile. Now all the other children living in or near her building ran around like tyrants so up the open fire hydrants they would say whoa yo that's that that's a story that's a story he's painting a picture right there uh and lucy is too well she's drawing really but man also the way he is rhyming on this is incredible but it seems like the lucy is is you know she's just drawing 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 observing people and then you got this bully joshua uh so uh let's uh, interesting where this is going also considering the title no regrets i'm looking forward to see what that's about so she's piece she has a piece of yellow chalk she's drawing the street all the faces of the various locals that she would meet and the bully always takes some milk money ain't never had no milk money in my life yo what's going on Always said hello to passers by. They asked her why she passed the time attaching lines of concrete, but she would only smile. Now all the other children living in or near her building ran around like tyrants, soaking up the open fire hydrants. They would say, hey, "Little Lucy, wanna come jump double dutch?" Lucy would pause, look, grin, and say, I'm busy, thank you much." Well, well, one year passed, and believe it or not, she covered every last inch of the entire sidewalk, and she stopped. stopped. Yeah, after all this, you're just giving in today. She said, "I'm not giving in. I'm finished." And walked away. Wait, one, one, two, three. That's the speed of the sea. that is fire right there man makes you think you can dream a little dream or you can live a little dream i'd rather live it because dream is always chase but never get it <sighs> okay we're getting a little peek behind the curtains of, of the title now no regrets like yeah man we 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 only regret mostly um because he's jumping in time i can already see it here I, i'm reading ahead mostly the things that we didn't do right not really the things that we did, maybe in the moment a little bit, but uh, it makes us who we are. It's mostly, you know, the things that, oh man, I should have done that. Or uh, I just talked, it was a lot of talk, and I never took any action. <sighs> Ooh. If she cro covered every last inch of the entire sidewalk and stopped Lucy after all this, she just given in today and she said, I'm not giving in, I'm finished, and walked away. Mmm, yeah, man, that's art. That's art. True art is never truly finished. It's only abandoned, and she's getting she's getting out of here. Man, this guy knows how to tell a story, man. Dang. Condense it into a few minutes. <laughs> An introverted somewhat right. basement apartment in the same building she grew up in. Right. She traded in her blue barrettes for long locks, held up with a clip, traded in her yellow chalk for charcoal sticks. And she mm, drew. Little okay. Bobby, who would come to sweep the boy. And she drew. The mailman delivered every day at four. Lucy has very little contact with the folks outside her cubicle oh. day, but found it suitable and she liked it that she way. And a man now, Rico, similar, Herman. They would only see each other once or twice a week on purpose. They appreciated space, and Rico was an artist too, so they'd connect on Saturdays to share the pictures that they drew. Look. No Oh, okay, so she's really like a recluse almost, introverted, just so much into her art. She knows one person sees him once or twice a week. Oh, that's interesting, man. You can you can already almost see, you know, when you know stories, where it's going, right? She's, you know, she's doing something, but, right, you know, you, 
you're really missing out on all the rest of life almost. So it's great to to be caught up in art and, and pursuing that dream. But there's other things to life as well, right? So she's almost so caught up in that one that she forgets about the rest, really. Ugh. Yeah, like, I man, that's so good. That is so great writing, man. It's really like a mirror, right? We, we go so much in our comfort zone and we're scared to come out that we're missing out on all this stuff. That is fire, dude. And we, then we find like-minded people like, uh, or a job that we don't have to really talk to people, you know, be a, be a, a UPS driver or something or, or, or uh, you know, something that you can do on your own, like making videos in your attic. <laughs> <laughs> really talk to a camera instead of people. That's appreciated uh, space. Enrico was an artist too, so they'd connect on Saturdays to share the pictures that they drew. Mm. So every month or so, she'd get a knock up on the front door. Just one of the neighbors. Back the nice people, she was a strange girl. Really said Lucy went and joined me for some lunch. Lucy would smile and say, Lucy, thank you much. Mm. Neighbor make a weird face the second the door shut. Then run and tell her friends that truly crazy Lucy was. And Lucy knew what people thought but didn't care. Cause while they spread their rumors through the streets, she made another masterpiece. One, two, three, that's the speed of the sea. Oh, man, he's jumping ahead again. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're talking about, you know, that crazy uh, charcoal lady up there. She never comes out. Mmm. Damn. Damn, man, that's crazy how he doing this in just a few minutes. Just condensing somebody's life. I'm not even in, but just like, it's almost sad. It's sad, right? Gee, man, how are you doing this, man? I need a whole book to do that, man. <laughs> that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, always saying no, right? Uh, some people uh, have problems saying no. Some people, uh, you know, are really uh, skilled at it. Sometimes <laughs> I used to say a lot of yes. Now I'm more of a, a no dude. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Lucy was 87. A born a death bed. At the senior home where she had previously checked in. Oh. Traded in the locks and clip for a headrest. Traded in the charcoal sticks for arthritis. It hasn't happened. Ooh. True no more. Just sat and watched the dawn. Had his television in the room. Uh. But she never turned on. Lucy pinned up a life worth of pictures on the wall. And sat smiling. Looked each one over just to laugh at it all. <laughs> the Rico we had passed about five years back. So the visiting mm. hours pulled in a big flock of nothing. She never... <laughs> Get sadder and sadder. I like the instrumental in the in the chorus. You got the scratching going on, and now in the verses you have that vocalizing that voice. Ooh, you know that's nice, man. So yeah, now she can't even participate in her art anymore because she got arthritis. So what's left? Rico's gone. No visiting out. Nobody at visiting hours. But the way he says it, visiting hours flock. No, nothing flocked to visiting hours. Just the you know the ace up way of doing it. All in that spot and looked each one over just to laugh at it all. The Rico we had passed about five years back. Pulled so the visiting big hours pulled in a big flock of nothing. She never spoke in much throughout the spanning of her life until the day she leaned forward, grinned and pulled the nurse aside and she said, Look, I've never had a dream in my life because a dream is what you want to do but still haven't pursued. I knew what I wanted and did it till it was done. So I've been the dream that I wanted to be since day one. Well, the nurse jumped back. She never heard Lucy even talk, especially words like that. She walked over to the door and pulled it closed behind the Lucy blew a kiss to each one of her pictures. And she died. One, two, three, that's the speed of the sea. A, B, C, that's the speed of the D. You can dream a little dream, or you can live a little dream. I'd rather live it. This dream is always chased, but never get it. One, two, three, that's the speed of the sea. A, B, C, that's the speed of the D. You can dream a little dream, or you can live a little dream. I'd rather live it. This dream is always chased, but never get it. One, two, three, A, B, C. One, two, three, A, B, C. Yeah.
Dang. Lucy, man. Lucy. Well, she made it to 87. That's crazy. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. What do you think? Is it sad? You know, she, she lived her art dream, but, you know, never really got out much, never really talked to people. Maybe that, you know, if that's what you want, that's what you want, but, you know. You never know. Some of the coolest things that have happened in life are like the unexpected things that you, you you didn't even know that was out there. So, you know, you have to come outside at least once or twice to 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 get to experience that, right? Uh, yeah, man, it's a great story. It's a great story. I love these type of things, man. That's just a movie in a few minutes. Damn. Fire. Awesome rhyming, great cadence. Just the way he's describing it, man. It's just, you could see it, right? You could see it. You could just see it. And what is also cool is like he never really gave a physical description of Lucy apart from the blue, what was it, barrettes and then the long locks. And and then she traded in the locks for a, for a headdress. So you don't really know how she looks. So you can really fill in the gaps yourself in that story that's beautiful writing man it's a 50 50 percent collaboration right there no regrets i guess lucy didn't have any so uh, life well lived in that's the conclusion <laughs> yeah yeah let me know what you think awesome track that's no that's not a debate so uh awesome story thanks for being here guys peace